my point is i mean if you want to do a proper internship get a six month internship where you are able to understand why the company is doing what they are doing know the people build that relation chak mar kar aayegi yeah absolutely so we are we are living in this world agar koi ye sochta hai ki you know mera barabar ho jayega skill development pe focus kiye bina दो साल पाँच साल एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली इट विल नॉट यू नो सो द बेटर वी एक्सेप्ट दिस रियालिटी द बेटर वी स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन इट द बेटर विल बी एबल टू गेट इन टू द प्रोग्रेसिव पाथ वेल इंटरव्यूइंग आई बिलीव वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट मिस्टेक्स विच अ पर्सन डज एस्पेशली एट अ जूनियर लेवल इज फोकसिंग दैट कॉन्वर्जेशन लॉट मोर ऑन मनी पार्ट के वॉट विल बी माई कॉम्पनसेशन यू नो फिक्स कितना वेरिएबल कितना ऑल ऑफ हेलो एवरी वन अगेन नमस्कार फ्रॉम मुंबई से एक बार फिर से हम सेकेंड शूट करने जा रहे हैं आज और आज के जो हमारे गेस्ट हैं वो बहुत ही स्पेशल गेस्ट हैं क्योंकि वो सिर्फ एच आर नहीं है वो स्केल अप एच आर स्पेशलिस्ट हैं ये एपिसोड उन सभी के लिए बहुत यूजफुल होने वाला है चाहे वो इम्प्लॉयर हैं स्टार्टअप्स हैं अपनी कंपनी स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं या कंपनी रन कर रहे हैं क्योंकि सभी के साथ ये स्ट्रगल हमेशा होता है हाई परफॉर्मेंस टीम तैयार करना और हाई परफॉर्मेंस टीम को हायर करना सो so, ये एपिसोड बहुत ही खास होने वाला है लेट मी वेलकम मिस्टर प्रतीक ऑन एच आर स्कूप हाई प्रतीक हाउ यू Hi, Deepika. So far, so good. Thank you for having me over here. Uh, Thank you. Looking forward, looking forward to the conversation. Thank you. मैंने जैसा आपके introduction में बताया कि you know you are scale up HR specialist yeah, yeah. और ये आपका एक headline tagline भी है. <coughs> yes. So what is it all about? So scale up HR is basically uh, uh, when a firm wants to grow at a At, I mean anything which grows at more than twenty, thirty percent on an annual basis, generally you need a lot of processes, practices, uh, uh, metrics coming into play, uh, and and it's not easy. It's it's a science as well. Uh, generally, since last ten uh, years or so, uh, from the days when Flipkart. Snapdeal, all these guys were the poster boys of startup India story. Uh, there has been a plethora. I mean, uh, the Indian startup ecosystem has matured a very long way. True. And uh, the while the I, I mean, funding is still relatively easy. Scaling up is where a lot of companies, a lot of these high growth companies, uh, they face teething issues. Uh, you know, for example. क्या टाइप की हायरिंग होनी है यू नो बिकॉज स्टार्टअप में एक स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ हायरिंग होती है वन कैन नॉट टेक फ्रॉम लार्ज कंपनीज लाइक अ टी सी एस विप्रो यू नो दिस स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ हायरिंग विच इज रिक्वायर्ड वेन दैट हायरिंग इज हैपनिंग सर्टन प्रोसेस सर्टन प्रैक्टिस नीड टू बी देर कि हम हाई परफॉर्मर को कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे सो वो कैसे करेंगे हम बिकॉज एंड ऑफ द डे द द मेन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ स्टार्टअप इज कि वो हाई परफॉर्मेंस है विच इज वाई it will be competitive uh, in in the marketplace uh, in the marketplace uh, so which is why uh, and that is where the scale up uh, hr comes in you know so right from uh, identifying building a very high performance talent acquisition practice performance management jo startup mein series b ke pehle shayad socha nahi jata utna uh, you know talent management kyunki log bahut next बहुत क्विकली नेक्स्ट लेवल पे ग्रो करेंगे सो या बिल्डिंग इन दो टैलेंट मैनेजमेंट स्मॉल स्मॉल प्रैक्टिस आई विल से सो दैट इज वॉट इट स्केल ऑफ एच आर इज ऑल अबाउट एंड हाउ यू स्टार्ट योर जर्नी विद लाइक यू नो एज एन एच आर एज एन एच आर इट्स बीन लाइक फिफ्टीन ईयर्स आई बीन विद लार्ज एंटरप्राइजेस मिड साइज कंपनीज एंड देन ओवर लास्ट सेवन एट ईयर्स आई एम मोर फोकस्ड ऑन द ऑन द स्टार्टअप साइड ऑन हाई ग्रोथ uh high growth product tech kind of companies because that is where a lot of excitement is uh and yeah that's that's how the journey has come along right from large organizations to mid size uh looking after their hr scaling uh, scaling their teams up and then more focused on this side of the place where things are a lot more fast moving it is very fast paced things change very quickly uh, and that is i believe that is where you get your thrill to be honest uh, you know that's what that gives a kick and there's a new challenge every day to look for to so that is the reason why i've stuck on to this and yeah I mean, that's that's how the journey has come along so after working with mncs you like like working with startups 
so what kind of difference you have seen in this these two different uh, areas uh the mncs are very structured i'll be very honest you know mncs are very structured and of course uh, uh one starts as a journalist in both of these segments uh but yeah i mean the this the rate of growth uh is is uh, over a period of time there is certain limit to it uh over a period of time uh in startups yes one starts as a journalist it's a 0 to 1 1 to 10 10 to 100 of a journey but the learning is immense uh itni learning hoti hai ki matlab uh, uh, as i said you know every day is a new day there is a new problem to solve because there are a lot of moving parts to it there is product which is getting formed there is teams which are getting built uh product market fit uh aa raha hai identify ho raha hai monetization aa raha hai ho raha hai and the competitive landscape is continuously changing uh so i i would say startup startup working in a startup is very exciting uh it is uh, very exciting and thrilling as well uh but at the same time huge amount of learning if one is looking for learning i believe startup is the right place first 3 years 4 years getting into a startup uh getting your hands dirty learning everything at a grassroots level uh with an assumption that you know there is some mentorship which is coming along uh one is working with the right kind of people because uh, working in a startup it is pressure uh, there is high amount of pressure there is expectation and it can be toxic as well sometimes uh, <laughs> so being mindful that learning ho rahi hai uh, right set of log tumko support kar rahe hai to make you equally successful yeah. uh, and at the same time yeah i mean you are getting recognized rewards i believe startup mein thoda sa late aata hai which is fine because first 5 years mein the metric ideally should be learning learning <laughs> ke main kitna seekh pa raha hu ya main kitna seekh pa rahi hu अगर ये मैट्रिक स्टार्टिंग ईयर्स में बराबर हो जाता है रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स फॉल इन प्लेस ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बट मुझे लगता है फिर भी कहीं ना कहीं आज भी यू नो बीइंग सो मेनी यूनिकॉर्न्स इन इंडिया एंड लॉट ऑफ गुड स्टार्टअप्स फंडेड स्टार्टअप्स आर देयर बट पीपल आर रनिंग बिहाइंड एम एन सीज ओनली they don't want to you know every year 15 lakhs plus engineering students are yeah. getting passed out yeah. but kisi ko startup join hi nahi karna hai so how this i mean they they feel you know they don't feel that uh, stability there yeah. like yeah. hiring firing is there so uh, what kind of uh, you know uh, the benefits to join any startup company for yeah. students uh, that that's a that's a very valid question uh अगर इफ वी लुक अंडर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू स्टार्टअप्स वर लॉट मोर इन डिमांड विथ ऑल द जेंसीज जेन वाइज अल्फा मिलेनियल्स ईच वन ऑफ द ईच वन ऑफ द सेगमेंट ओवर लास्ट टू ईयर्स दिस दर हैज बीन अ लॉट ऑफ फायरिंग दैट्स द फ्लिप साइड ऑफ वर्किंग इन अ स्टार्टअप एल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट वी हैव सीन लॉट्स ऑफ ली ऑफ्स यू नो एंड दैट इज वेयर द फोकस आई मीन पीपल स्टार्ट Uh, thinking uh, the youth starts thinking that it's better to get into mncs because wahan pe stability hai thoda sa work life balance bhi hai all of these things but i'll i'll again come to the same thing you know it's all about skills we are living in a world jahan pe your skills are going to command respect uh, reward uh, and all the other benefits that one is seeking and nothing better than a startup way to build to build your skills uh, you know in mncs that things comes out a bit slowly uh, one can have uh, one can have work life balance one can have stability but I, i'll give you a very small example uh, there are technologies today jo every every two years mein it changes correct see something like a devops devops four years back it was just catching up in last four years it has blown up like anything now imagine yourself you are working in an mnc for la, la, next 3 4 years and the technology that you are working for goes for a disruption hmm. just like how ai ml has given us that disruption the thing is because because we were seeking uh, work life balance stability uh, you know there is a there is only certain ceiling till when you can outgrow your skills in an mnc Uh, you know because the environment is very structured so which is where you know i mean mncs are right now more favorable because of the layoffs and thing it's i believe it's temporary because 
India is very aspiring. It's very entrepreneurial. We are going to see a lot of startups coming along the way. My only request and advice to entrepreneurs, founders, and the HRs in the startups, in these startups, uh, because I'm from that fraternity, is that we don't do hiring so fast, we don't do so fast, that after two months we have to question that this hiring is not wrong. Because that is what we saw in the COVID wave. Because that is what we saw in the COVID wave. Lot of companies because they got a lot of funding. Uh, the metric was how quickly we can hire people. Yes. Uh, but end of the day, we have to we have to build that system. जहाँ पे इतनी fast hiring हो रही है, तो हमारे processes, हमारे practices, हमारा culture वैसा है कि proper onboarding होगी, proper performance management होगा, लोगों को बताया जाएगा, समझाया जाएगा कि ये उनसे expected है, and उनको support किया जाएगा to reach that level. Correct. Uh, and that is what got a bit of a, a miss in in the last couple of years uh, you know and that is where the scale up hr comes in you know that is wow. that is where wow so uh, ye jo startups mein basically bacche join nahi karte because of the firing ka dar yeah. ki फिर निकाल दिए जाओगे आपका स्टेबिलिटी नहीं रहेगा तो उसके लिए उनको कैसे प्रिपेयर करना चाहिए एंड स्टार्टअप्स को वो फायरिंग को कैसे स्टॉप करना चाहिए अल्टीमेटली बिकॉज दे आल्सो हैव द लिमिटेड फंड यू नो हायरिंग ऑफ कोर्स करना इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बट उस फंड मेक हाउ दे कैन मेक श्योर कि वो फायरिंग को होल्ड करते हुए और बच्चों को एक अच्छा यू नो प्लेटफॉर्म दे पाए लर्निंग के लिए मुझे लगता है स्टार्टअप से अच्छा कोई ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं हो सकता जहां स्टूडेंट सबसे अच्छा सीख सकते हैं एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली सो आई मीन सी दिस कॉल्स फॉर अ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड्स यू नो फ्रॉम द फाउंडर्स फ्रॉम द एंटरप्रेन्योर साइड एस वेल टू बी अ बिट मोर रिस्पांसिबल आई आई बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई आई हैव कॉन्वर्सेशंस विद फाउंडर्स एंटरप्रेन्योर्स ऑन अ वेरी रेगुलर बेसिस लॉट्स ऑफ इट नो फाउंडर और एंटरप्रेन्योर वांट्स टू फायर पीपल अनलेस अनलेस इट्स अ Uh, unless it's a very uh, unless it's a requirement yeah. uh, so it, and it's not something which they enjoy because their reputation is also at stake the brand is at stake uh, and they don't want to do that but there are compulsions there can be profitability issue competitiveness x number of things you know so my two cents is you know from whatever i have understood is yes uh, being a bit mindful about growing quickly uh, because ग्रोथ तो आ जाएगी बट दैन सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एंड एवरी फाउंडर अंडरस्टैंड दिस विच जस्ट बींग अ बिट माइंडफुल ऑफ इट एंड टू द अदर साइड टू द टू द यूथ साइड आई मीन सी एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर फोकस्ड ऑन स्किल्स एंड बीट एनी कंपनी बीट एनी स्टार्टअप एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन योर स्किल्स बिल्डिंग ऑन इट वर्किंग विद हैविंग सम गुड मेंटोर्स विद योर सेल्फ हैविंग सम क्लैरिटी ऑफ थाट के ओवर नेक्स्ट वन ईयर मुझे ये अचीव करना है विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू स्किल्स नॉट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू मनी फॉर मोस्ट मैं अपना एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ हाउ आई स्टार्टेड माई फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स आई नेवर आई नेवर फोकस ऑन मनी आई ओनली फोकस ऑन वॉट स्किल्स आई वॉन्टेड टू डेवलप आई एंटर्ड एच आर एज अ जर्नलिस्ट फॉर फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स फाइव सेवन ईयर्स आई वॉज अ जर्नलिस्ट 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 यू नो बिकॉज आई वॉज लाइक ए नहीं द स्पेशलिस्ट एक्सपीरियंस इज गोइंग टू कम ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बींग अ टी शेप एग्जीक्यूटिव uh professional but yeah i mean so as long as you have clarity of thought uh with respect to what do you want to achieve over next one year two year uh and you are continuously building on those skills working with the right set of people i believe startups can change that is fine it can be n number of reason you heading out or they making a difficult call that is fine uh it's all about skill building uh to be honest आपने जो पॉइंट बोला मुझे काफ़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट लगा बेसिकली uh, मुझे ऐसा लगता है आप एज एन यू नो यू हैव गुड एक्सपीरियंस एज एन एच आर एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड पीपल एंड वाइल वर्किंग ऑन अ बोथ साइड लाइक एम्प्लॉयर साइड ऑल्सो यू नो एंड एम्प्लॉय साइड यू ऑल्सो नो सो वट कैंड ऑफ मैसेज यू वॉन्ट टू गिव टू स्टार्टअप कंपनी स्पेसिफिकली एम्प्लॉयर्स कि उनको एक इतना लिमिटेड और यू you नो know, इतना तो टाइम देना चाहिए किसी ना किसी को परफॉर्म करने के लिए इट्स जस्ट नॉट दैट कि वो हायर हुआ और जस्ट यू नो आफ्टर 15 20 डेज यू विल आस्क अ क्वेश्चन ऑन देयर परफॉर्मेंस या या सो दिस इज द सैड पार्ट आई हैव सीन दिस हैपनिंग इन इन पॉकेट्स आई विल से लार्जली दिस इज नॉट एन इंडस्ट्री प्रैक्टिस एनी एनी 
any f- high growth company they generally give two months uh, but then still i will say that in pockets there has been instances where 15 20 days may they had to take a call uh, my two cents is ke if you are not sure uh, because there are a lot of things at stake you know so my two cents is ke if you feel that things downhill ja rahi hai for an entrepreneur for a founder to hold back hiring because end of the day uh it's not just firing somebody which is happening it is the loss of that moral capital that trust uh, because your current employees are also going to see this thing of and course. they would question like hey, agar if this is happening with a newcomer i can it can happen with me also yeah. so some amount of empathy over there uh, definitely is required lastly this is i have not seen this as a industry practice in pockets it might be happening but again you know i my my one of the very strong message that i want to share with the youth who wants to aspire for startup is the moment you are in the office or moment you are on day 0 joining that company you go back to everybody and ask what is expected out of me and mai kaise karu wo you know don't be uh, you know there is no spoon feeding which is going to happen in a startup it happens a lot in mncs because they are very structured उनके पास दे उनका रिस्क मैनेज है टू एन एक्सटेंड तीन महीने बाद दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू शट डाउन दे हैव सम रन वे लेफ्ट ताकि दे आर एबल टू सी फॉर अ लॉन्गर टाइम दैट्स अ लग्जरी विद स्टार्टअप डोंट हैव अनफॉर्चुनेटली दे डोंट हैव दे आर कम्पीटिंग विद एम एन सीज यू नो देर इज एनी स्टार्टअप दे वुड बी कम्पीटिंग विद अ टी सी एस विद अ विप्रो इफ दे आर इन ए आई एम एल इफ दे आर इन डेब ऑप्स एक्स नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स यू नो सो माई टू सेंसेस any youth anybody who is getting who is starting their career with a startup go back to your leaders ask them what is expected out of me can you help me get there uh, you know and every week every fortnight having that feedback with with your with your manager with your supervisor how am i doing mai kaise improve kar sakta hu if that hunger is not there you know if you to to fir ye startup ho ya koi aur startup any startup is going to question ke what is the value which is getting added Uh, and that's a fair question i will say it's a, it's a very fair question true uh, generally startups ko kaisa hiring strategy use karna chahiye comparatively you know sometime what happen aisa bolte hain ki startups to internship interns ke bharose hi chal jate hain <laughs> i guess hamara pura india and and the, that is the beauty of it see i mean because we have 15 lakh more than 15 lakh engineers coming out I believe this entire country can run beautifully on an internship model uh, yeah. for for as many years to come, and there is nothing wrong with that model. I'll tell you why. I've seen internships happening for two months, three months. I'm just digressing from the uh, uh, topic right now. Well, I'll quickly come back to the hiring part as well. But I've seen two, three months of internship. उसमें कोई लर्निंग नहीं होती माय पॉइंट इज आई मीन इफ यू वांट टू डू अ प्रॉपर इंटर्नशिप गेट अ सिक्स मंथ इंटर्नशिप वेर यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई द कंपनी इज डूइंग व्हाट दे आर डूइंग नो द पीपल बिल्ड दैट रिलेशन एंड अंडरस्टैंड एट अ ग्रास रूट लेवल यू नो द फंडामेंटल सम फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ इट दैट इज वॉट एन इंटर्नशिप इज सपोज टू डू एनीथिंग विच इज लेस देन सिक्स मंथ्स तुम्हारा इम्पैक्ट ही कुछ नहीं आया है कंपनी पे यू नो सो सैडली दैट वोट मेक यू एलिजिबल फॉर अ जॉब बिकॉज इट्स ऑल एप्लीकेशन ड्रिवन द अनफॉर्चुनेट रियालिटी ऑफ आर एजुकेशन विच इज चेंजिंग वेरी रैपिडली बट स्टिल वी हैव अ लॉन्ग माई टू गो इज इट इज नॉलेज बेस्ड इट इज थियरी बेस्ड इट इज नॉट स्किल बेस्ड और एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड दैट इज अ सैड पार्ट इंटर्नशिप इज द ओनली ब्रिज विच गेट्स द स्किल एंड द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट uh and which is where if it's 6 months 9 months even without money that is fine the the metric is yeah. learning your currency is learning right now and that is what you should one should focus on now coming to the hiring part i mean startup is all about hunger passion uh you know getting out of the comfort zone uh continuous learning because things change very quickly and survival these these are the five traits of any startup tum zepto ko le lo they got funded with one of the biggest rounds just couple of days back it is it is their trait as well and you take up any startup which is raising a pre seed anywhere across the country it is their trait as well everybody everybody in the startup has to display these kinds of traits True. so my two cents over here is to all the hrs to all the founders you know getting these kinds of people who 
who are hungry you know i mean they can be from any socio economic background as long as they are hungry uh, they are they are passionate uh, about doing something getting out of the comfort zone continuously asking questions being very curious uh, and jumping into things uh, these are the traits which i strongly believe add a lot to startup yes they might not be graduates i mean i recall one of the example when we had a brilliant engineer uh we were hiring him for sd2 sd3 actually uh going from x salary to a 2.5x salary in his current job and he was a college dropout and we were like college dropout and a degree se to matter nahi karna hai matlab whatever he is good at he is good at in that skill and that's what we are hiring him for so no second thoughts we went back to him we offered him but we also told him that hey you don't have a degree we want to help you with further education so that you know we know that you are also thinking about your future but your skills that's what we need in your in this company and we would love to hire you you know so that that is the kind of scale up i mean that's the kind of hiring that every startup should as should look for True. and and if if we are able to do this my i mean my to i mean how i look at it is jo hum layoffs dekh rahe hain abhi wo kam ho jayenge because then every person is contributing if not from day 0 from day 10 day 15 if if the dual level person is also contributing at day 10 day 15 they are adding value i mean you know so i i believe there's a very strong correlation between getting the hiring right and having less layoffs True. uh and less of the business risk uh in the company बट जो आपने हंगर की बात बोली मुझे लगता है कि स्टार्टअप्स को कई बार ये आइडेंटिफाई करना नहीं आ पाता है दैट्स वाई दे डू रॉन्ग हायरिंग एंड दैट्स वाई मोर ले ऑफ्स हैपन्स या या आई मीन ये सो ये अलगोरेथम हमारा दिस हायरिंग प्रिंसिपल आई मीन सो आई विल से इन इंडिया बिकॉज द स्टार्टअप स्टोरी इज वेरी न्यू राइट नाउ ये अभी भी बहुत ही फॉर्मेटिव स्टेज में है बट आई आई कम्प्लीटली अग्री दिस इज वेयर founders entrepreneurs and the hrs uh, you know they need to put in their heads and in fact i will say that business leaders also because it is their function which are going to get impacted so how do we identify hunger a, a very small example is any engineer uh, it's a four year course generally after second year they start doing some projects and all what kind of projects they have done what is the kind of impact they have made going through their portfolios going through what what is the depth of learning they have acquired from those you know how many projects uh paisa nahi bhi mil raha tha to bhi project kiye hai kya because that's a sign of hunger mm-hmm. uh you know that's how we identify these small small things and it might look small but i mean this this can make a very a, a huge difference because this is part of your hiring practices uh, uh you know uh, so yeah i mean these small small things identifying it i can give you more examples you know uh, there was this i was with a recruitment setup and there we used to use this algorithm anybody who comes from a uh, a not so great socio economic background uh, but they have taken a loan to fund their education we would go for those because we knew that uh, they would there is a hunger in them to wow. to repay that loan back as soon as possible our incentive structures were great and that is why we went for those kinds of uh, you know that segment of people and i tell you i i mean so and this is one one thing which i definitely want to share in india talent uh, i mean i've seen uh, brilliant talent i keep seeing brilliant talent on a day to day basis tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 towns they have some amazing talent and if our folks yes i mean being a startup uh one wants to be in one single place because bahut sari cheeze hoti hai but yes i mean if if our folks could also open up say 10 20% hiring from tier 2 tier 3 the talent is amazing it is yes. hungry it has never got that opportunity and if it gets that opportunity of course from a business perspective as well it is uh, it helps business because unka cost low hota hai unka longevity improved hota hai and they don't have high demands to be honest so employee satisfaction is easily meetable 
mm-hmm. from that perspective as well so exploring these avenues and mm-hmm. realigning the hiring practices but at the same time yeah my message to i mean all the people who are looking to get into employment over next one year two year is you got to i mean your profile cannot differentiate ke maine degree yahan se li hai yes top tier institutes they that can be a differentiating factor but apart from that anything which is not top tier it is your skills which will have to speak for it in your profile it's not going to be that degree uh, you know or that institute uh, it's going to be those side projects where you will stand out you will create that differentiation so do that do that uh, if, wow. if, even if you're not getting paid i mean just do that you know because there is some learning in it सो प्रतीक आपने जितने टाइम स्टार्टअप्स के साथ काम किया और इतने सारे स्टार्टअप्स को आप स्केल अप कर रहे हो उसमें कभी ऐसा हुआ है आपके साथ ऐसा कुछ गुफ ऑफ लाइक यू नो आपने सोचा हो ये बंदा तो आके धमाल मचाएगा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में एंड यू हायर्ड अ वेरी वेरी हाईली टैलेंटेड पर्सन फ्रॉम अ गुड एम कंपनी और उसका रेफ चेक गड़बड़ हुआ हो या आई मीन ऐसा ऐसा होता है देर आर देर है फॉर्चुनेट पार्ट इसके इसके इंस्टेंसेज ज़्यादा नहीं है बट येस देर देर हैव बीन इंस्टेंसेज वेर वी वर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट आई मीन हमने तो रेड कार्पेट ट्रोल आउट करके रखा हुआ था बिकॉज इट वॉज अ सीनियर हायर टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट एंड देन वेन वी डिड अ रेफ चेक अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी डिड इट आफ्टर हिम गेटिंग इन टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिकॉज स्टार्टअप में चीज़ें बहुत फास्ट होती है एंड बैकग्राउंड चेक्स और वो थोड़ा टाइम लग जाता है Uh, and when we did we did not get a a very positive uh, positive feedback uh, you know and yeah i mean eventually things turned out the other way the downside as well so yeah i mean aisa aisa hua hai and and which is where you know i mean uh, my two cents uh, to all the entrepreneurs founders hrs in startups is ref check pehle kar lo before starting a conversation with that person all together uh because if it's a senior hire generally you want the senior hires to perform uh and i mean it their their roles are not just defined to their work their their roles transcend into lot many other things so bahut kuch kar rahe hote hai wo founders they are almost like because they are very close to founders working very close they are almost like spreading the vision of the company with everybody within the company and outside the company also so after after that incident few things that i changed uh, for i mean in my practice was ke before getting into a conversation ya fir ek conversation hone pe hi ref check pehle se hi initiate kar matlab kar lena because that's that's very important uh, I'll, i'll i'll just share a very small it's a, it's a very funny if i don't know uh, everybody watches movies but if if you guys have if everybody has watched this movie called special 26 mm-hmm. uh, where akshay kumar uh, and jimmy sher galane pom khair they 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 do a heist uh, agar jimmy sher gal ka bgc pehle hi ho gaya hota to to wo heist hua hi nahi hota you know so yes these small small things make a huge impact uh, over a period of time uh, but as you said ki pehle hi usko before even interview you should you know plan as uh, background check verification so don't you think so this will impact his existing job uh yes absolutely so how how we do it generally is if it's a very senior hire uh, and generally you are like well connected in the industry kisi na kisi ko tum jante ho jo tumhara friend hai mutual friend hai and whom you can trust so then you can reach out to those people hmm. or somebody who has worked in that company earlier now is in a different setup so unka koi vested interest nahi hota iske bare mein kuch galat bolna okay. uh you know but at the same time yes you one has to balance this with privacy part as well because that is very important uh it should not impact the individual who is uh, who is in question uh, it should not impact or put them in jeopardy because yes uh his current uh, job might might get jeopardized because if somebody can just say that iska ref check ho raha tha ye dekh raha hai bahar so yeah wo privacy ke sath thoda sa balance karna hota hai mm-hmm. but it's very critical ke aap multiple ref checks karo uh, and trusted sources ke sath karo uh, and agar pehle kar lo to bahut acha so then you can know because in hiring you spend a lot of time and this is i mean this is what i advise every founder entrepreneur ceo that agar tum hiring nahi kar rahe ho tumko कभी आइडिया नहीं होगा तुम्हारा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्या साइड पे जा रहा है इफ यू आर ओनली लुकिंग एट कस्टमर्स एंड द बिजनेस मैट्रिक्स यू हैव टू गेट इनटू हायरिंग 
60 percent of the time which you are spending internally should come from hiring performance management vision uh, spreading the vision mission the business strategy of the company agar tum ye nahi kar rahe ho to you know you are in a blind spot next kya hoga mere log kya soch rahe hai is my team aligned or not is my team motivated or not you will never know that and you cannot afford to have a middle agent an mm-hmm. hr or a middle manager uh, come to you and give you a brief about all these things no you have to be hands on about these things uh, you know and jo founder ka buying hota hai jo founder ka image hota hai aur jo ceo ka image hota hai entrepreneur ka in a company wo image se koi upar nahi hota you know so if you are not doing that uh, you know you are in a big blind spot and because aap waise hi itna energy spend karne wale ho uh, in hiring in getting right people to to your company it's better to do a ref check much earlier uh, mm-hmm. because ek insurance ho jata hai ki nahi hai matlab you know then what what will happen is even if you know ki next do mahine wo banda perform nahi kar raha hai you want to give them some comfort zone ki nahi theek hai ref checks barabar the i know you i have assessed you well i have gauged you well i am confident you know tumko kya support chahiye tum ye batao so it 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 just helps it doesn't create doubt later on you know after hiring yeah yeah oh, absolutely that's, that's absolutely important. but it has to come from a trusted source that is very important uh, if it's not from a trusted source to then it can be a very shaky ground as well true true, true. but uh, in a competitive world i like for startups and uh, companies everybody is growing but on the other side students how can individual like you know uh, continuously learn and upskill themselves to stay relevant in this industry oh that's a that's a brilliant question you know and i believe it's not just for students this is for everybody in this world uh we have gone through two to three major disruptions in last 10 years our technology cycles uh, they have changed uh covid changed us big time in last two years ai and ml are now changing us big time so at least three major disruptions is what we have seen and the message from all of this is loud and clear to everybody be it a professional be it a students